Hi everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in today's video we're going to do another pre-decimal coin hunt. We've still got our tub here full of pre-decimal coins that is still looking quite full. That we're going to be going through looking to fill the empty slots in our albums. But before we get to the actual hunt itself, just wanted to say don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. Um, and I don't think there's anything else to talk about today actually, it's been uh, quite a quiet weekend. So let's crack on with the hunt and we'll see what we can find. So the first coin we've got out is, it is an Elizabeth II. Is a half penny from I can't quite see 50 58 1958 there you go so that is that we won in the new album that we've got so obviously we have completed the 1937 to 1967 album once already and we're now on our second album and we go straight into another Elizabeth for second. Not in brilliant condition, that one. But it is a 1964 penny. There we go. So yeah, not in brilliant condition. And I'm, yeah, obviously pretty sure that's one that we've already got. So we don't need that for the album. then got another half penny this time from 1962 so that'll be Elizabeth II again and we've got our first three pence for the hunt so that is George the Sixth from 1944 so I'm not well I know we're missing one year um, sort of completely so sort of we've got two slots that we're missing in our album one's an obverse which I think is 1953 and then we're also missing another one from the 40s I can't remember what year it is I think it's I keep thinking it's 49 but I might be wrong I probably am wrong knowing me so there we go we've got a George V one penny from 1920 uh, it's a bit worn down on that side obviously there is some extra scratches on it but if you think it's a hundred years old this year, and we've then got a two shilling, so that is from 1948. So that will be George the Sixth. Yep, there we go. Then got a George the Fifth farthing from nineteen thirty two. Very nice. Oh, wait a minute, I am uh, out of all the coins we're searching for at the moment. It is the the early years of the farthings that I am uh, quite interested in finding. then got another one penny this time from 1967 so it's the more common year that we find so that will be Elizabeth II again And 
mind, we've got another George V. And it's another farthing, but this time it is from the year 1912. Just see if you can see it there. Very nice. We go. We've got another three pence. That is 1955. So we've got another Queen Elizabeth. And then next we've got a one penny. 1910. That is Edward the Seventh. Very nice. I think it's a. I think it is a year that we've already got. But still, we don't see. I don't see a massive amount of sort of the Edward the Seventh. Seventh coins. straight into another Elizabeth II and another 1967 and we've got a new half penny so with these I think there's about three or four years that I'm missing but there's only I think it's three years that I'm missing two of which are NIFCs and we've got a 1974 very nice so I can't remember off so I don't think that's one that we need I don't think that's an NIFC year Then got a George the Sixth, and that is a one shilling from 1947, and there's another new half penny. And this time it is 1980. And we've got another George the Sixth. Another two shillings, but this time it's from 1951. Very nice. And we've got a very, very beaten up one penny, and that is 1967. Again, but that has definitely seen better days. We've then got an Elizabeth II. It's a sixpence from nineteen sixty seven. Half penny from 1967 as well. So that will be Elizabeth II again. And 
And we have an 18.99 one penny. So that will be Queen Victoria. Very nice. And we've got a George V. And that is a half penny from 1919. There is another one penny, this time from 1917. So that'll be George V again. There we go. And then straight on to another 1919. This time it's a one penny, and it is actually a new one for the book. So I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna double check it myself before I say. Yep, it is. So. Right, this is one that we've been talking about for quite a while. So you'll see just there, a little mint mark. It is the H mint mark. So this is one that we have been looking for for a while. One of the alternative mints from 1919. Uh, you've got H and then you've got, uh, oh, uh, K and N. So uh, H is one mint mark, and then KN is another. Um, and they were two different mints that were based up in Birmingham, if I remember rightly. And they were used to essentially sort of mint, sort of over capacity than what the raw mint could do in London at the time. So really, really chuffed with that. As I say, we have been looking for the 1918, 1919 coins with the mint marks for a while now. And we have finally found one. So that will be a George V again. So it's not too bad condition on the obverse. A bit of corrosion sort of around the reverse. But I will take that one all day long. And then we quickly follow the 1919 with a 1918. But there is no mint mark on this one. But still a nice condition coin. George V again. Then got a 1950 one shilling, and that is the Scottish shilling. So George the Sixth, and I didn't actually say it actually, but the the last one, the, the other one shilling that we found was actually a Scottish shilling as well. Go. Got another Elizabeth for second, and that is a 1962 one penny. And we've got a 
got another George V. One penny from 1932. So what we'll do is we'll do two more, just finish off this row, and then we will call it a day today. And we have a 19, if you'll get in focus, there we go, 1945 three pence. Not in the best of conditions, a lot of corrosion around the top part here. That is George VI. Very nice. And then the last one that we'll do, as long as it's not a 1967. And it isn't. So it is an Elizabeth II. A 1958, one shilling. And once again, this is a Scottish shilling. So you've got the Scottish line just there on the shield. So yeah, nice one to finish us off with. So, I know it's a bit shorter than we normally do, um, but if we were to do a, another row, it'd probably overrun just by a bit. But star pull for today is going to be the 1919 with a mint mark. Yeah, really chuffed. We finally managed to find one of them. Absolutely brilliant. So, as I say, that's going to be the end of today's hunt. Uh, don't for, uh, as I also said at the beginning, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Uh, and as well as that, I've also got a Teespring store. Links to all of them will be in the description down below. And yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's hunt. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. All right, bye.